I think one of the scariest sentences to hear is the call is coming from inside the house. Hey everyone and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Christina. If you're not new here, my name is still Christina, but I'm really glad to have you back. Today's video is a movie that has been very highly requested and tis the time of the season and that movie is Black Christmas. Black Christmas. Am I not the cleverest of them all? I don't know who the mall is, but I think I am. Yeah. I know there was a remake with Michelle Trachtenberg, but I'm not going to be doing the remake. I'm being, I'm going to be doing the original because I'm good like that, right? Yeah. But yeah, I know nothing, and that's how I'm going into it. Quickly, yes, I do have a PO box. It is in the description. If you're going to send it for for Christmas, try to send it as soon as possible. And you know, if I get nothing. I get nothing. Well, I know I have one. I have literally have one thing. I already picked it up. So I have one thing. But if I do get more, I will do an unboxing video. And if I don't, then that's okay. If you want to send something, please do. If you don't, you don't have to. Now that that's out of the way, if you guys like this kind of content, I hope you will give this video a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe. Because in case you didn't know, subscribing is cool. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications so you get notified for new uploads, and uh, without further ado, let's get into the movie. Let's do this. I'm dreaming of a black Christmas. No? Okay. No, it's okay. I get it. I get it. I'll stop. It's fine. If you guys notice the lights, the lights are gone. Because, <laughs> funny story, they fell down. Uh, apparently I'm a very bad taper. And when I tried to put them back up, I didn't have any more tape. So, <laughs> isn't life great? Isn't life grand? Yes. Film funding and associated with Vision for presents Black Christmas. Oh, that's this is starting off very quickly. It's a very nice decorated house. What the hell is that? <laughs> Creeper. Hey, who left the goddamn front door open? Oh, he already's in. Oh, oh, no he's not. See, that's why you shouldn't have those, um, things on your house. What is it called? Tr trellis? Mm -mm. Nope, because shit like that happens. No. Oh, hi, Shadow. Wait, hold on. Is that the, is that Lois Lane from Superman? Huh. Hello. Hello. Pardon? Excuse me, moi? This is creepy. But this is also kind of giving me, like, Michael Myers vibes. Except it's not through a mask. You're a real gold-plated whore, mother. See you, you next know week. That? You're a real whore, mother. You know that. Hello. 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 It's him again, the Mona. Who? I swear to God, if this cat dies... Who is it? Claude? Who is it? <laughs> I love 
love you. I know. Someone says I love you, and instead of saying I love you too, you say I know. What is she doing? Woman, you got a problem. Claire? Claire? I can't come to the door right now. I'm dead. Okay, just so everyone knows, if someone puts wrap around your head and tries to suffocate you, open your mouth. Put a hole in it. I'll bet you'll find her over at the common room. They're having a party there today for underprivileged children. Or you could just go up to her room. Are they in her room? So where did he put her then? I'm pregnant. <laughs> Jess, that's fantastic. I don't want it. I want to have an abortion. Jesus, Cheddar. You can't make a decision like that. You haven't even asked me. I wasn't even going to tell you. Her body, her choice, bruh. Don't you ever consider anyone but yourself? I've thought this out very carefully and I know what I'm going to do. Why did you even tell him? Oh, hell, not again. I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. What your mother and I must know is... Baby, You've got the wrong number. Where did you put eggs, Billy? Look, I'm telling you, you have the wrong number. What your mother and I must know is... Billy! What? Could you give me the number at the sorority house? How do you spell it? Capital F. That's not a number. Have you seen Claire today? No, she went home. No, she didn't. No one knows where she is. Well, her father came to pick her up at one o'clock today and she didn't show. So he went down to the police station with Phil and Bob. They didn't take it seriously. Why? I don't know. Uh, I don't think you're playing very well. They hadn't seen her all day. Oh, another one. She's only 13 years old, Lieutenant. What you're about to see is a Channel 4 News exclusive. Cheddar snoring. Yes, it's the piano's fault that you can't play. Now I'm going to go to my sister's for the holiday, so I might not be here. Because you're going to die. Yeah. If any of you find anything, I want you to send someone out immediately to report it to me. Claude? Claude? That was a stupid kill. You see her dead. You immediately go down the stairs and leave the house and tell someone you don't. <laughs> what the fuck's your problem, dude? Stop it. Get some help. A 13-year-old girl? Come on. Hello? Hello? phone calls and I want to know what can be done about it. <gasps> Pete! 
said, Jesus, you scared the hell out of me. Why didn't you say something? You scared the hell out of me, too. What was all that yelling about? Claire Harrison is missing. I was out with a search party looking for her. Six Belmont Street. How many calls? Yeah, well, I'll report it and try to get a man on it just as soon as possible. I'm quitting the conservatory and we're getting married. Excuse me? Peter, I don't want to marry you. A high school girl's been murdered. Mr. Harrison's daughter is missing. And now at the house where she lives, the other girls are getting obscene phone calls. <laughs> What's this? Well, that's the number at the sorority house. Felicia? <laughs> yeah, it's a new exchange. F.E. Yeah, Felicia. One of the girls that was in this afternoon gave it to me. She gave it to you? Yeah. I know. Something dirty, ain't it? You selfish bitch. You're talking about killing our baby as though you were having a wart removed. You are not going to abort that baby. Peter, you're not going to tell me what I can and cannot do. You're going to be very sorry. Well, we'd like to put a tap on your phone, but we'll need your written permission to do that if it's okay with you. I've tapped this phone so that when it rings, it'll ring at the station house, too. At the same time, I'll be at the phone company checking on the location of the source of the call. Are there any other phones in the house? Uh, yes, the house mother has another Yeah, but it's room. another number and there haven't been any calls. Is this gonna be like one of Stranger Calls? They're gonna be like the calls coming from inside the house? <laughs> what is the deal with this guy? she would live and like end up killing him hello see that shadow was peter with you any of the times that you got one of these calls yes he was here he was at the house tonight when the first call came you're gonna have to keep him on the line longer you're not giving us enough time to get a trace what do you need her to stay on the phone with the fucking guy for an hour when did my light fall oh got to put the other head on you barb are you awake are you there I mean, technically she's there, but she's dead, so. Oh, he's calling from the head lady's house. That's how he's calling from inside the house. Pig. You bitch pig. I want to get you off of baby. says the calls are coming from number six Belmont Street. You got it wrong. That's where the calls are going into. That's where they're coming from too, sir. Oh, shit. It is the calls coming from inside the house. Uh, Miss Bradford, uh, this is Sergeant Nash. Are you the only one in the house? Phil and Bob are upstairs asleep. Why? Now, I want you to do exactly what I tell you without asking any questions, okay? Put the phone back on the hook, walk to the front door, and leave the house. I I'll get Phil and no, 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 don't do that, Jess. The caller is in the house. The calls are coming from the house. Don't go upstairs, Jess. Miss Bradford. Phil! Bob, please answer me! Bitch, 
Leave the house. Really, you don't know how to open the door? Don't be stupid. Why would he think she was in the basement? Jess? Jess? Wait, the, the killer's eyes were brown, right? I think he has green eyes. Jess? Find Jess for me. Jess, you had me worried. What are you doing around here? Peter start killing people. With the condition she's in, I wouldn't count on talking to her before tomorrow afternoon if I were you. I think that about wraps everything up here, sir. Uh, state lab guys will be here in about an hour. Oh, scared the shit out of me. Bye. They just left her there? It's me, Billy. Edit. it? Wow. Oh, it just goes to black. Okay. Uh, uh, movie over. It had its creepy moments. It had... I don't know. I just got a lot of different vibes from this movie. Like, the killer felt like a Norman Bates to me. The voices and the keeping the dead people. I, I, it wasn't a bad movie. It was just, I don't know. I, I think I expected a lot more um, action. It was slow paced and it was uh, a slow burn. And ugh, God, I, I just, I hate these horror movies where these people do the stupidest shit. He said, leave the house. Leave the house. What did you do? No. No. You didn't leave the house. Why would you? And then for them to sh just to assume that the boyfriend was the killer, and like, you're telling me they didn't go to the house to check to see that there's an attic? You didn't go searching the house? The headmaster lady, her bag's were still there, so she never left, so should have been looking for her. It had its funny, amusing parts, it had its um, creepy parts, it had its weird parts. The language in this movie really surprised me. It was, it was, it was, it was all right. I, it's probably gonna upset a lot of people, and I'm sorry, but um, yeah, I, it was, it was all right. It's a good concept. I think one of the scariest I think one of the scariest sentences to hear is the call is coming from inside the house. I can't think of anything creepier or scarier than that. If you guys have a, a creepier or scarier one, please do let me know in the comments. But for that, that that's my like ultimate creepy like don't ever tell me the call is coming from inside the house. It was it was a good watch. It was um, a movie that I had to see, and I did, and check that off the list. I don't really know what else to say about the movie. <laughs> I don't know. It was it was a movie, guys. It was a movie. It had it had characters. It had a story. <laughs> it was a movie. I, I'm sorry. I can't think of anything to say about this movie. Uh, so, anyways, um. I hope you guys like this video. 
if you did please do give it a like uh comment down below let me know your thoughts let's chat let's chat don't hate me for not thinking this was like the greatest thing in the entire world glad i i'm glad i watched it and i'm glad you know i got to check it off the list other than that i will see you guys in the next one